You make me melt. I'm wearing it too. We match. <laughs> Tiny. It's small, but it's cute. So today has been interesting. We got about four hours of sleep. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and one half hours of sleep. Woke up at 4.15 in the morning <laughs> with plans of getting on the subway. <laughs> and going to the Brooklyn side of the Brooklyn Bridge. It didn't work out. It's early. And it's bright and dark at the same time. How'd that work? No. We were gonna get on the subway. Well, we're not New Yorkers. We don't know how none of that works, so. We went to the place thinking we'd be able to get in. No, we'd have to walk somewhere else to get a ticket and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't want to miss the sunrise. So we waiting on the Uber. It's fine. She's tired. It's fine. But then the crazy thing is, is that Google Maps told the Uber guy to drop me off in the middle of the Brooklyn Bridge. That's not a thing. You can't do that. It was okay. So we ended up getting out of the Uber illegally. And he was like, hurry up, don't let the cops see you. And the cop was literally parked right there in the middle of the street. But it's And then fine. right after we got out, something started beeping. And I it thought did. we were going to get arrested. I so then we crossed the street and we started walking up um, the promenade. And um, so at this time, the you know, Sky is looking like cotton candy, you know, pinks and blues, and it's beautiful. And we're getting there, and we're like, oh, this is gonna be fantastic. We get there, and we walk past a gang of people. It had to be like between 15 and 20 people. And they got like rolling trunks. Like these big, like mega. They all have like little lanyards. Lanyards. They looked very official. They had earpieces. And, ear and they were like talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, what is about to happen? So we walked past them because they were like at the beginning of the bridge, like before you even kind of go up to where it looks like the Brooklyn Bridge or whatever. Um, so we walked past them and we got to the middle part. Next thing you know, here they come zooming past us i'm like please tell me this is not about to happen please tell me this is not about to happen man i was i, I was about to drop some thug tears i was so <laughs> disappointed because these people posted up in the middle of the bridge like yeah there was no avoiding them there was no possible shot like <clears throat> Even if the majority of them were on the left, there'd be like stragglers, like standing in the middle of the bridge, like not moving. And then they'd be like pacing up and down. I'm like, what is happening? So one guy was like guarding the trunk. He's like got his arm on the trunk. And I'm like, so what are y'all shooting? And he's like, oh, we're doing a fashion commercial. And I was like, oh, okay. Y'all gonna be here long? <laughs> So by this point, I'm like, I'm so hot because the sun's coming up. Everything is looking really pretty, but there's nothing I can do. And you don't want to shoot down the wrong side of the bridge because there's nothing there but like apartment buildings and <laughs> like street lights. <laughs> it's not cute. So I was just standing there and Say's like, well, do you want to at least shoot something? Like we can try. She was so positive. She was like how I usually try to be, <laughs> but my feelings were hurt. <laughs> so
So I was like, okay, fine, let's just try. So she got her, um, by that time, the cop was sitting in the little, mm -hmm. so there was like a little golf cart, like a little NYPD golf cart parked on the side of the bridge and there was it was empty when we got there. But the second I decided I was gonna change, he was in his little golf cart. Just sitting there, facing doing where, nothing. Doing absolutely nothing, just, just facing. facing my direction and i'm like so we got to figure out how to get her out of shorts and a shirt into a leotard, a leotard. <laughs> on the middle of the bridge <laughs> so it was fantastic you know, i took out a little sweatshirt put it on and then changed underneath it took it off i was good it's good yeah that's that that's the that dance life you just gotta get it done so she changed we got a couple shots they were not stellar because I was not feeling it. And <laughs> they were okay, but they were not like the best, the best. They finally got done. And by this time, the light is like perfect. When they started walking back, the light was perfect. It was nice and nice and golden -y and it was very pretty. Interesting too, trying to get her out of a leotard into a romantic tutu dress on the Brooklyn Bridge. It was hard with bikers and joggers bikers and, and joggers and i'm pretty sure that police officer he was, was still there. there by that time it was another one parked behind mm -hmm. him <clears throat> but we did it yeah and she a man those shots i yeah <laughs> yeah like <sighs> like i it's <laughs> just like i took some and then i stopped and you were looking at me like, what? And I'm like, oh. yeah, every time I looked at me, you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so you did a good job. Thank you. You did a very good job. Thank Sometimes you. she looked bored. I had to tell her, stop looking bored. She'd just be like, That's just like, my face sometimes. I can't yeah, a lot of times like pretend to have some fun. But they were really good. So we were excited about that. Then we got done. She kept the tutu dress on, put the sweatshirt on over it. <laughs> we walk back down, <laughs> back down the promenade crazy. to um, Washington Street. So that's that like that famous view of Manhattan Bridge, and had to battle with um, Chad and Cameron. Chad and Cameron. And yeah, so we had to battle. Listen, Cameron. These are not these people's names. I hope you understand this. This is just what they like. She they gives look, everybody names, but basically. they look really accurate. Like that could have been him. So he was posing and. Cameron had to get them angles, so he was laid out on Washington Street, like, like getting that like shot. Like his feet. Yeah, he was flat on his belly getting that shot. You do what you got to do, sir, to get that angle. So, but they weren't really caring that there were other people that wanted to take shots there, so we just kind of had to weave in, you know, what we could get in. I attempted it. She had to for a good 15 minutes. Yeah, she tried to get her aerial. It's, I don't know, it's elusive. It's very elusive. So hard. We're gonna get it. Look at me, we like I'm getting my behind off the floor. It's I'm gonna stay so on the floor. Difficult. Yeah. But you did a good job, Sean. So she tried to get her area for a little bit. We walked past Pebble Beach. And then we walked to Chipotle because that's what she wanted. <laughs> I was like, really? You don't eat anything else? Just Chipotle. So we walked almost a mile to Chipotle, even though her feet were hurting. I really wanted Chipotle. And then we took the subway back to the hotel and took a How long was that nap? That nap know. was was heavenly. Oh, and you hit 11,000 steps at 11, or like 10,000 at 11? Yeah, so I had my little Fitbit on, my little rockets and fireworks start going off 10, at like- 10,000 steps by 11 o'clock. By 11 o'clock in the morning. I wish those steps translated into pounds lost. That would be fantastic, don't you think? Because- 11,000 pounds? No, no! <laughs> Not equivalent. I was just saying. <laughs> I got concerned. No, I'm just saying. I'm like, who are you trying to be? <laughs> like, like, if this is you now, you'd be like, <laughs> I just need to lose 11,000 more pounds. It's okay. I'm almost there. I'm almost there making progress. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. And then they say wanted to go back to Times Square. And. All right. 
I need to like. <laughs> so I'm extremely introverted. She's worse than me. Social anxiety. Like, like bad. Like, okay, and we're not dumb. We know New York is crowded and busy and whatever. And people are, some people are in a hurry and some people are walking leisurely. Like we get it, right? We're in the middle of Times Square. We get it. We decided to go, <laughs> to, go to Times Square. At night. At night. What it was time nine o'clock. Nine o'clock at night, we're walking to Times Square. Yo, I will never, never do that again. Like, it became, it was a mission. Yeah. Is what it turned into. Like, smiles were gone. Yeah. I No like, conversation was being had. We, we were both just kind of like this. She, she looked like a turtle, right? Yeah, so she I, tried to retreat into herself. <laughs> And I'm just like, mm. my, <laughs> she's holding got, my hand, we looking, gotta, and I'm like, we gotta go wherever we're going. Okay, we're taking a left. <laughs> it was just the most ridiculous there thing. There were moments where I just like couldn't catch my breath. I was like, mm. <laughs> like looking around, like there were too many faces. It was just too much. It was too much. So I needed to take a minute. Like once we got to the center of Times Square, I had to stop. Then we got to the stores, and they were worse. Like I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't think that the that the crowds would be that much worse at night, but I guess I should have. It's I like an known. after the fact you were like, oh duh, but like beforehand you were like, it's fine. It you was know? not like fine. one of those situations. It wasn't fine. Like I can't I'm not. I can't. It's no. So anyway, so after our mission, and the mission failed because we went to go get something specific, and it just didn't work out. And it wasn't. It didn't work out. We had two stops in mind. Couldn't find the first stop. Don't know what happened. And then the second one, I just changed my mind. The second one, she's like, mm -mm, I don't want this. <laughs> so then we made a detour, made a third stop, and that wasn't happening either. Yeah, we were trying to get, you know, little souvenir gifts for people. And we had certain things in mind, and it just, was, just didn't happen. So we aborted the mission and came back, came back to the hotel like I you can't do oh, this. but um, we were waiting at a light, you know, to walk across the street, and I counted it. There was a straight minute of people just blowing smoke in my face. She was coughing like crazy. Like between that and the and the aromas. Yeah. It'd be like. <laughs> the... I don't understand how that one street smelled like pool. I don't know. Like yeah, there was a street that smelled like straight chlorine. And then you get the, you know, the random urine mm -hmm. scent that wafts past your nostrils. Yeah, everyone's smoking everywhere. Then you got the smoke and then you have like, oh, everybody was like doused in in the the strongest of colognes today. Today only though. Like I didn't I didn't get that yesterday. Today it, it was, was a colony just today. day. It was a colony everybody day. Everybody was like, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's mm -mm, unscrew that. <laughs> 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 Let's um, <laughs> lather up. That's funny. Somebody smelled like he like sprayed rubbing alcohol on him. Anyway, so then we made it back. We made it back. And so now we gotta go to bed because it's actually probably tomorrow already. Tomorrow's another adventure. Today. Today. It's another <laughs> adventure. And it, it'll be our last full day here. Oh my gosh. Before we head home. But we've had fun so we far. Have. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ready good time. Yeah, okay, so well, um, yeah, that's it for day, what day is this? Three? That's it for day three. We'll see you on an adventure tomorrow, bright and early. Bye.